Hello, my name is Braden Gerard, and today we're gonna to go through how you can create a menu using Strapi so that you can feed the front end of your website with the menu content. So we're gonna use the Strapi menu here as an example. Um, and we can see that there are some drop down menus here with multiple headings in them. So there's different sections inside of this drop down menu. Uh, we have two like that, and then we, or three like that, and then we have a couple just single links, and then we have a couple buttons in the menu. So we'll craft this in Strapi. So let's go over to our Strapi admin. We're first gonna create some sections, okay? So we're gonna create these sections here. Um, we'll create those sections inside of collection types. So let's create a new collection type. We'll call it sections or a section, um, and then we will hit continue. The section is going to have a heading. So that'll be that title that we have up here at the top of the section and then it will have links inside of it. So let's add a component and the component will be a link and we'll put this under menu components and then we will select a link down here for the icon configure the component. Okay, so the component name is going, it's gonna be a repeatable component and we'll call it links. And then we will add that. And then we'll add a field to it. So this will be the name of the link. And then we will add a, another field, which will be the URL that the link is going to go to. Okay, so now we have a heading for our section, which would be product features. And then we have a name for our link. So that's this name here. And then we have a URL that it's gonna go to. Now we also want an icon and some description text here. So let's add some more fields to this component. So we'll add text, we'll make it a longer text and this will be the description. And then we'll add another field, which will be text as well, or sorry, not text. The other field will be a media field. It'll be a single media, and this will be the icon. There we go. So now we have our links and a heading for our links. So this is a section and we can create multiple sections in the sections collection. So let's save that. And then we'll go to our section collection and we will go to the content manager and start adding a couple sections. So let's create a couple sections. The first section that we'll make will be our product section. So let's go the heading product. That's this heading here. Actually we'll do it all caps. And then we're gonna add links. So in this case we have community edition And we'll just copy that URL. And then we have a description, which we'll also copy from here. Whoops, we didn't wanna go there, let's go back. Let's see if I can copy this text. There we go. Okay. And then we could add an icon here. Let's go over and we will try and save this. There we go. We'll add a new asset, we'll browse, go from our downloads here and we'll add the icon. There we go. Upload it, add it, and there we go. Okay, so that's one of the links inside of the product heading. Um, then we have Enterprise Edition as another link. I'm just gonna do these two just so you get the idea. I'm not gonna put them all in here. That will go to here. And what do we have as a description? A self-hosted, and then we will copy that. Enterprise Edition. And we won't put the icon in for that one, that's okay. So we'll save that. Okay, so now we have a section that is product and it's got two links under it. 
Uh, the links have names, URLs, descriptions, and icons. And let's create the solution section really quick. So we'll go back here, we'll publish that. Go back here, create a new entry, solutions. And then we'll add some links under that. So under solutions, we have teams as a name, uh, sorry, uh, getting ahead of myself here. It's actually features would be the section that we want. So let's call this features. And under features, we have content type builder. And we'll copy the link to that, put that here. And the description. Hold on here, switch over, put the description. Okay. So that's the second section there, which is the features section. So we have features and product, which are two sections under this drop-down menu. Um, and then we have multiple drop-down menus here, but we'll just use product as the example, but we would repeat this for um, the other drop-down menu. So we'd wanna create teams, use cases, industries as well as sections. And same for community, we wanna create community events and resources as sections. So you get the idea. We're going to create a few more components. Now that we have a section with link components inside of it, we'll also create menu links, which would be sort of your links that are right at the top here. So just your plain links. And then we'll also create buttons and then we'll create a drop down menu. So let's go create those components. So inside of here, we'll create a new component. We'll call it drop down and we'll give, put it under menu as well, we'll put a down arrow for that. And then we will add a title of further drop down, which will be this right here. And then we'll add a relation, which will be the relation to the section that the drop down has. So drop down has many sections, so you can add multiple sections here. And we'll save that. And then we will create one more component or two more actually. One will be our menu link. We'll call menu links these links up here to distinguish from these links, which were our section links that, that we that we just titled link. Um, so let's make a menu link and a menu link. We'll give it the link icon as well, I guess. There we go. And that's gonna have a title and it will have a URL. There we go, we can save that. And then we will create one last component, which will be a menu button, which will be these guys here. Put that under the menu. Let's see, is there a button here? Well, we'll go with this one, sure. Um, the button will have a title as well. It will have a URL. And we'll add a enumeration here for a class for what type of button it will be. Um, so we can say type and we'll have, this could be secondary and primary. So let's say secondary and primary. And then based on the type of the button, we can adjust the styling on the front end. So we'll finish that, we'll save that. Okay, so we've got all the components that we'll need here to construct a menu. So let's go over to the single types here and create a main menu. And then we will give that menu a dynamic zone and that dynamic zone will be called menu, or main menu items. And then we'll add components to this zone. So let's use existing components and we're gonna select a drop down. We'll select a menu button. We'll select a menu link and we'll hit finish. So now I've got three different components that we can select here from our uh, main menu items and we'll hit save. And now if I go over to the content manager, I can add a component to main menu items and here's my menu and then I can pick what I want. So I can pick a drop down menu item or menu link. So if I select drop down, we can give it a title, in this case product 
and we can add some relations. So product and features. Those are the sections that will come up underneath product. Now I can add another menu item and we'll do another drop down, and that'll be solutions. And then again, we could add sections here to solutions. We don't we haven't created them yet, but we could add them if we had them. Uh, let's add some menu links for an example here. So we have docs, pricing, and cloud. So docs, let's just copy that URL. Uh, copy link address, there we go. And then we could add another link here. We'll call this one pricing. Let's take a guess that this goes to forward slash pricing. And you get the idea. And then we'll add a button just to show you. So here we would have the contact sales button. We'll say that goes to forward slash sales. And then that would be, we'll call the white one secondary. And then we'll add one more button. And that button would be get started. And we'll say that that one goes to get started. And then we'll give that on the primary color. So now we've built out our menu with drop downs, with links, with buttons, and we can save that and we can publish it. And now if I go over to the settings in Strapi and I go to the roles and permissions, and then I go to the public user and edit the public user. And we say that main menu they can find and we'll allow sections to be found. And that should be good. We'll save that. We make a new tab here and we go to local host 1337 forward slash API forward slash main menu. And then we need to add a query here. So we're going to have to populate everything that's inside of that main menu single item. So first we're going to populate level zero. So populate at zero. And I'll make that equal to the main menu item, which is our dynamic zone. And then we're going to say, and populate at level one equal to main menu items dot sections. Uh, I just realized I missed the plural on main menu back here. So main menu items and then populate one main menu items dot sections and populate oops, sections at two is going to equal main menu items dot sections dot links. And now that will populate everything. So here we have our data get we're getting back, which has our main menu items. Let me just throw this into a JSON format for you so that we can see it better. There we go. Okay, so in here, you can see that now we're getting everything populated. So we have our data, we have our menu items. So right here, and then inside of our menu items, we have our menu dropdown. And the menu dropdown then has the heading of product. And then it has the links that we put in there with their URLs and descriptions. And then we also have the features drop down, which I only put one link in. And then we have our menu drop down of solutions, which I didn't put anything in. Then we have a menu link here. We have another menu link here. And then we have our menu buttons with the types. So that is how you would get the data on the front end. And then you could use this JSON data to populate the content of your menu.